I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. This topic is what to do if your family triggers you. This is a big one. See, the thing is, is we all have history with our family, okay? And in that history, we have certain behaviors and reactions that continually play out every time we're together. And even before we're together, we're already thinking about our family and we're already judging and thinking about what it's going to be like and how, you know, how bad it's going to be or, you know, how somebody else is or concerned about someone's behaviors or actions or how they treat you or whatever. Okay. So here's the thing. We're coming into the new paradigm and new paradigm actually means love and light. Okay. So this just started happening quite a while ago. You know, all the new stuff about the Aquarian age, ages of Aquarius, all of that. Those are the beginning stages of the new paradigm. And as we're moving forward in our lives and moving forward in our incarnational experiences, where we're going to drop this body and come into another body, here's the thing. You cannot pass through the veils if you want to hold on to negativity, resentment, hatred, victimization, poor me all the deep emotions that we hold and those get activated with our family, but all of those emotions aren't going to pass through. So we might as well start practicing opening the heart to the truth of who we are, which is pure love and light in the very core. So ultimately everybody is love and light in the core. It's all the misperceptions and the wounding and the conclusions and the direct experiences and the atrocities and the horrors that we shut down, start to block that love and light. Okay? So anytime we're going to be around family, which is especially during the holidays, we're going to be around a lot of family, some of us. And there's going to be a lot of triggers, a lot of reactions. And if you start playing with this, okay? If you take your awareness and just take it right behind your eyes and then take that awareness and drop down to your heart chakra, right in the upper part of your chest, okay? From there, imagine you're looking out into the world. And then from there, taking your awareness and looking back, falling back into your core and looking for your own light. It's there. Everybody has light. Everyone. Even demons have light, okay? Negative, dark, all of them, everything has light. So with you, find that light and take a moment to be in that light, okay? Because when you're in the light of your own self and the core of your own being, there really is a sense of peace. There's nothing there. There's no agitation. There's no worry. There's no concern. There's no, I don't like you. There's no, I hate you. There's no, I don't want want to be around you. There's none of that. There's no victim. There's no emotion, okay? If you start cultivating your own connection with your own light, then it'll be easier to drop into this place when you're with family. Here's the thing. Ultimately, in the very core of your being, you have love for everyone. Family, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, cousins, all of it, grandparents, your own children, Ultimately, it's just pure love and light. That is who you are. Okay. So again, start cultivating. Come on in. Drop into that light. Be there. You, you just stay there just for a second, just so you can keep learning. Oh, there it is. Drop right into my own light. Drop into my own light right there. And in that light, you're going to feel the sense of peacefulness, but there's a gentle loving sensation as well it just has this unconditional love it's not an intense feeling so don't be looking for the oh baby oh baby it's a soft gentle feeling of just love okay when you start feeling that and you remind yourself that this is what you really hold this is what you really feel for everybody ultimately everybody okay all of humanity every human being every creature just pure unconditional love So when you hold that and you cultivate that within your own self, when you are in the midst of being with your family, when big triggers happen, big triggers, okay, it's like, oh, okay, there's mom going off again, or there's dad, whatever, whatever, you know, there's that Flossie or whoever, okay, 
it, it's like you can just keep coming back to that place within where you do feel just love. So when you allow yourself to practice that and be with that, and then you find yourself in situations where you're getting triggered by other people's behaviors, their words, whatever they're saying, doing, if you come right back into that place in the very core of you, that love and light that you are, you'll start to feel the love for Aunt Flossie or your mother or your father or whoever. And then what happens is you start to see them in a different way. You just see them as like, you know, like someone who's severely wounded or someone who, you know, who's got misperceptions or someone who's asleep or someone who's in fear or just wants love. You know, you start to see people differently. You start to see them in their own traumas and you know the ways that they are behaving you have a sense of like whoa yeah they're in some kind of suffering as everybody is so why not open our hearts and just experience love unconditional love for our family and friends that we will be gathering with and feel better within our own selves and not be so reactive not be so judgmental not making people wrong or blaming them or you know, you did this, you hurt me. Just keep coming back because we're not going to empty out all of your wounding because that's what needs to happen to completely stay in the heart. And as you keep cultivating your connection to your own self in your own light, that frequency of unconditional love and light, you will find it is easier and easier and easier to have compassion, to have understanding, and to the recognition, same in you, same in me. You know, we're all struggling. We're all in some kind of crisis occasionally or feeling, you know, hurt or devastated or, you know, our wounding's up, our trauma's up, and we're, we're, we're reactive. We're all doing it, okay? Every one of us. So for us, for you personally, to feel better within, to start shining your light and start stepping into the new paradigm, be a way shower, demonstrate what's possible by holding your own awareness, by coming into that light that you are and feeling that pure love and light. And then from that place, communicating with your family, from that place, connecting with your family, from that place, just loving your family. And I guarantee you, your experience with your family will be completely different and when you change the dance, the energy dance, is, but you've been playing, dancing your entire life, when you change it by holding love, love and light, everybody else changes to meet you. They won't understand what's happening. You know, they won't know, but something's different. They'll feel it, and they'll respond differently as well. So... You can make your holiday season different. You can make the time with your family different. It can be much more pleasant, more enjoyable for you and for everyone else. Okay, so again, practice your own connection with your own self, practicing and finding your own pure unconditional love and light, and then bringing that forth into your world. And let's bring on that new paradigm.